Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about setting up the Folium emulator. A very common question I see a lot is how to import keys and games. And while there is a built-in import button, it doesn't always work. So we're going to show you a way that should always work for the most part. The first thing you need to do is make sure you have the Folium, Folium emulator downloaded. I already have one. Once you have it downloaded, you need to open it. And then you want to go to your files. And now you should have a Folium folder. So, I have my keys. You're going to long press it. You can press move or copy. Now you're gonna go to on my iPhone and you're probably only going to have one Folium folder, but I have two because I have two copies of the app. So I need to figure out which folder is the new one. And that seems to be this one. AES Keys is going to go in Citrus. And says data, and you're going to hit copy. The other way you can do this, and I'll show you that with the games, is select, select all. Copy. On my iPhone. Folium. Citrus. Go down to ROMs. Long press and paste. Now you're going to go back into Folium. Refresh it. And your game should be here. The other thing is, if you go to missing files, AES keys is on the list here. Now you're going to want to set up some settings. I always set the CPU clock somewhere between 15 and 25, but 21 works relatively well for me. I turn new 3DS off. I set console region to whatever region that you are in or the region of the game that you are using. Info or debug for your log level is pretty good. I'm not going to go over custom layouts. Almost everything here needs to be off. So we're going to turn this setting off and this setting. Hardware shaders and disk shader cache are definitely going to be on. You need to have hardware shaders on for disk shader to cache to work. What this is going to do is it's going to cache your shaders every time you close your game. For this to take effect, you need to stop and exit your game every time you close the app before you close 
the app, you need to close your game this way. If you do this over time, performance should get better, theoretically. We're going to leave new VSync on. I set my resolution factor to 2, sometimes 3. We're going to turn the red eye render off. And we're going to switch audio stretching for real time audio. These are all settings that I like to use relatively universally. There are a few exceptions, such as async shader compilation, for example, needs to be on for Mario and Luigi games to render sprites, for example. My bad. It's actually accurate shader multiplication. That setting needs to be on for Mario and Luigi games to render sprites correctly. For Persona, you have to have these two settings off for the game to render properly. But I'm going to leave the settings like this. And we can also add cheats. Your cheats need to be in a text file format, at least for the old style, which is still current in the current version of the App Store release. <clears throat> they need to match the title ID of your games as well, otherwise Folium will not read them to match the game that you were trying to play them for. So I'm just going to move these to the cheats folder. And as you can see, there are all my cheats. Another thing is there's a new way that will be implemented for downloading cheats. And this could change. It's only in beta at the moment, but if you go into your cheat section and then press on the green paper on the top right, it will now offer you to download cheats if any exist from the database that Folium pulls from. Not all games may have cheats, and this may not all work for all games or all users, as, it, again, it's also still in beta. But that should allow you to add cheats and use cheats. My sound is probably off. And there likely will be minor frame drops. That's fine.
Oh, sweet. And you want to do this pretty much any time you're going to stop playing. <clears throat> it should start up and play smoother every time you do that. But it's only going to... get so much better. game did I decide to open? Oh yeah, no. Only with JIT.
also keep in mind that what you see here as far as performance goes isn't necessary. frame drops. you set up and playing on Folium. I hope this helps everyone and have a great day.